I have been procrastinating quite a lot for this video. I remember several months ago on this channel, I talked about the idea of a homemade white cacao liqueur. Well, today's the day guys, we're gonna make it and we're also gonna use it in a delicious cocktail. If you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. Today we're gonna make a delicious homemade white creme de cacao. When I talked about this idea before on the channel, you showed some interest. It's been quite a little while now, I know, but today's the day we're gonna make it and we're also gonna use it in a delicious cocktail. We're gonna make a 20th century. But first, let's start with a creme de cacao. To make this delicious liquor, you will start by weighing 190 grams of vodka and you're gonna pour it into a mason jar. Then in a skillet over a medium low heat, you will melt 50 grams of cacao butter. Once melted, you will add that to your vodka, stir a little bit, close and let that infuse for 48 hours. After that, you can place it in the freezer for an additional 12 hours. Once you're done with your waiting time, you can take it out from the freezer, poke a hole into the solidified fat and strain it through a fine mesh strainer. Now, what we have is a cacao flavored vodka and we need to transform it into a liquor. So into that, we're gonna add 70 grams of sugar and 62.5 grams of water. We're gonna stir until everything is dissolved bottle it up and there we go guys this is how we make a delicious homemade white creme de cacao so now that we have everything ready we can jump into the cocktail making and we're gonna make a delicious 28th century we're gonna start by pouring in a shaker 1.5 ounce or 45 ml of gin three quarters of an ounce of coqui americano you can sub that for Lille Blanc if you don't have Koki. Three quarters of an ounce of creme de cacao. And three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And now we can fill our shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. And then we can fine strain it into our favorite cocktail cook. And for the garnish, a lemon zest that we're gonna express over the cocktail. And this is it guys, this is how we make a 20th century cocktail with the homemade white creme de cacao. So now, let's give it a try. Hmm. This is the perfect example of how a simple cocktail can be very surprising. When you think of a gin sour, you don't think of cacao flavor or chocolate flavor at first. But in this case, it goes really well with the botanicals in the gin. And I always thought that juniper and chocolate was just a match made in heaven. And in this case, it works really well. It is also a very refreshing cocktail. It is really nice. And you get a hint of bitterness in the back palate because of the coqui americano. It's perfectly balanced, definitely a cocktail worth trying. I love it, I hope you're gonna love it too. Now guys, I don't know if you remember from the video of my cocktail garnishes, I made or I talked about a vanilla grasshopper and many of you requested the recipe. Well, I can assure you that this will be used to make it very, very shortly on the channel. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. 
Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Do you want to try? Or try this? Bye. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. See you soon, guys. I have been crap. Hi. Well. When I talked about it on the chat, but it's been a while now, it's time. It's been a while now. When I talked about this idea on the channel before, you showed some interest. But it been, but it been, but it been. What? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us again. Thank you. What's up, guys? Thank you very much for joining us again.